The Starbucks Corporation is a coffeehouse and roastery reserve multinational corporation headquartered in Seattle, Washington. It's the largest coffeehouse chain in the world. Starbucks is one of the most popular coffee chains in the world, but it didn't always look like this. In fact, Starbucks has a pretty long and interesting history. This video will explore that history, from its humble beginnings to its current status as a global coffee powerhouse. Let's stroll down memory lane. The Early Years Starbucks was founded in Seattle in 1971 by three partners. English teacher Jerry Baldwin, history teacher Zev Siegel, and writer Gordon Boker. The first Starbucks store was located on Western Avenue in Seattle's Pike Place Market. It was a tiny operation, with just a handful of coffee beans and brewing equipment. The three partners had a simple mission, to bring great coffee to as many people as possible. They were passionate about coffee and committed to making it accessible to everyone. In the early years, they roasted their own beans and delivered them door-to-door -door in red wicker baskets. Despite their enthusiasm, the business was not an immediate success. In fact, it nearly failed in its first year. But the partners persevered, making small changes that slowly but surely began to attract customers. By the mid-1970s, Starbucks had four stores in Seattle and was beginning to make a name for itself beyond the city limits. How Starbucks Became a Global Brand In 1971, Starbucks was founded in Seattle's Pike Place Market as a coffee, beans, and spices retailer. The company took off in the 1980s when they began to sell brewed coffee and espresso drinks in addition to their roasted beans. In the 1990s, Starbucks expanded rapidly, opening stores across the United States and then around the world. Today, Starbucks is the most internationally recognized coffee brand and has over 28,000 stores in 77 countries. So how did this small coffee shop become a global powerhouse? For starters, Starbucks has always been focused on quality. They use only the highest quality beans and roast them to perfection. They also offer a wide variety of both hot and cold drinks to appeal to all customers. In addition, Starbucks offers a unique experience in their stores with comfortable seating, free Wi-Fi, and helpful staff. This has made Starbucks not just a place to get a great cup of coffee, but also a place where people can relax and socialize. Starbucks has also been very innovative in their marketing strategy. They were one of the first companies to offer loyalty cards, which give customers rewards for frequent visits. They've also partnered with other brands, such as iTunes and Spotify, to offer exclusive content to their customers. And finally, they've invested heavily in digital marketing, which has helped them reach even more customers around the globe. The Coffee Wars In the early 1990s, Starbucks was facing a formidable competitor in the coffee market, Seattle's Best Coffee. In order to stay ahead of the curve, Starbucks embarked on an aggressive expansion plan, opening up new stores at a rapid pace. This strategy paid off, and by 1997, Starbucks had become the dominant player in the U.S. coffee market. However, the coffee wars did not end there. In recent years, Starbucks has been facing stiff competition from up-and-coming chains like Dunkin' Donuts and Costa Coffee. In response, Starbucks has been innovating its product offerings and expanding into new markets such as China and India. It's clear that the coffee wars are far from over, with both established players and new entrants fighting for market share. It remains to be seen who will come out on top in the battle for America's Cup of Joe. The Rise of Craft Coffee The rise of craft coffee is a relatively new phenomenon. In the past, mass-produced coffee was the norm, and there wasn't much variety to choose from. However, in recent years, more and more people have been seeking out higher-quality coffee made by small, independent roasters. There are a few reasons for this shift. First of all, the quality of craft coffee is often superior to that of mass-produced coffee. Smaller roasters take more care in sourcing their beans and roasting them to perfection. Secondly, craft coffee is seen as more authentic and artisanal than mass-produced coffee. And lastly, many people simply enjoy supporting small businesses over large corporations. Whatever the reason, the rise of craft coffee is definitely a trend worth paying attention to. If you're looking for a great cup of joe, be sure to seek out a local craft roaster near you. 
The Origins of Starbucks In 1971, Starbucks was founded in Seattle's Pike Place Market by three partners, Jerry Baldwin, Zev Siegel, and Gordon Boker. Inspired by coffee roasting entrepreneur Alfred Pete, they aimed to bring the style of European coffee houses to America. The first Starbucks store opened its doors on March 30, 1971, at 2000 Western Avenue in Seattle. The bold red awning and green and white logo were inspired by the nautical theme of the nearby Cinerama Theater. The original sign hung over the door for more than two decades before it was retired to the Starbucks Reserve Roastery and Tasting Room in 2014. From just these humble beginnings, Starbucks has grown to become one of the most recognizable brands in the world. Some of Starbucks' Most Popular Drinks Some of Starbucks' most popular drinks include Pumpkin Spice Latte First introduced in 2003, this fall favorite features a blend of pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Peppermint Mocha A festive holiday drink made with peppermint-flavored syrup, chocolate chips, and whipped cream. Caramel Macchiato a sweet and creamy espresso drink topped with caramel sauce. Strawberry Acai Refresher A refreshing blend of strawberries, acai berries, and lemonade. Green Tea Frappuccino A cool and refreshing drink made with green tea powder, milk, and ice. The different ways you can enjoy Starbucks coffee. In 1971, Starbucks opened its first store in Seattle's Pike Place Market. Today, there are more than 28,000 stores around the world serving millions of customers each day. While the Starbucks experience has evolved over the years, one thing remains constant. Our coffee. Our commitment to quality coffee is what made us the leading roaster and retailer of specialty coffee in the world. You can enjoy Starbucks coffee in a variety of ways. Our stores offer a wide selection of whole bean coffees, ground coffees, and brewed coffees as well as an array of beverages made with our signature espresso drinks. You can also find Starbucks products in grocery and other retail stores. Brewed Coffee Brewed coffee is made by pouring hot water over ground coffee beans and allowing them to steep for a few minutes before being filtered out. The strength of brewed coffee can be adjusted by changing the amount of grounds used or the brewing time. Espresso Drinks Espresso is a concentrated form of coffee that's made by forcing hot water through tightly packed grounds at high pressure. Espresso drinks at Starbucks are made with our specialty crafted espresso blends, using only the highest quality beans roasted to perfection. We then combine this with milk and other ingredients to create unique beverages like lattes, cappuccinos, macchiatos, and more. Cold Brew Coffee Cold brew coffee is made by steeping coarsely ground beans in cold water. It's simply coffee that's been brewed with cold rather than hot water and usually involves a long steeping process, anywhere between 12 to 24 hours. In terms of flavor, cold brew is generally characterized as smooth, low acid, and heavier than its hot brewed counterparts. Why people love Starbucks? The big question now is, why do people love Starbucks so much? It's one of the most successful companies in the world, not only in the coffee shop business. It's so successful because it was able to provide an experience that changed how much of the world thought about coffee shops and how many of us drink coffee outside of our homes. Starbucks is one of the most iconic coffee brands in the world. The company has a long and rich history, dating back to 1971 when it was founded in Seattle, Washington. Today, Starbucks has nearly 30,000 locations in over 80 countries, serving millions of customers each day. While the company has faced its share of challenges over the years, it has consistently remained one of the most popular coffee brands in the world. Thanks for reading, and we hope you have a better understanding of Starbucks and its place in history. The key to the Starbucks juggernaut is the company's success in making people want to come back for the beverages and food in its cafes. To encourage customers to return, Starbucks runs stylish cafes in key locations where people are free to hang around. We are performance-driven through the lens of humanity, their motto states. This is the most part of the history of Starbucks. We hope you enjoyed this video.